Today's meditation is about breaking up with the false ascension 5D program. So there has been a misconception in the New Age spiritual community around the idea that we are ascending to the fifth dimension. At one point, this was true. However, because of interfering forces on planet Earth at this time who are not invested in the ascension of humanity because they would prefer to control humanity, they have infiltrated the fifth dimension. And on top of that, they have infiltrated the fifth dimension through the New Age spiritual community. So they understand that people who are awakening and who are seeking spiritual knowledge and information naturally would like to gravitate towards the New Age spiritual community. And so instead of fighting the awakening, what they're doing is they're infiltrating from the inside. And if you think about it, it's kind of a common war strategy that has happened time and time again throughout human history. So it's something that we definitely need to be aware of if we are spiritual seekers and if we are truly seeking to ascend and to liberate our consciousness from the matrix system. And so with that being said, today we are going to extricate ourselves from the false ascension matrix and some of the workings of the false ascension matrix. And we're going to do this through this meditation. So the first thing we're going to do though, which is something that we should be doing whenever we log on to do a meditation or whenever we go to any event, to be honest, is we should activate a shield, something that protects us from any interfering energies that may not be of our highest good. And so even if we are attracted to a certain spiritual teacher, At the end of the day, the way in which unseen forces work is sometimes what they will do is they will work to manipulate us through that spiritual teacher. And depending upon how much ego training that spiritual teacher has participated in, they may be unaware that they are being infiltrated. And so this puts the responsibility on us as spiritual seekers to really move with discernment in all that we do and we don't do this from a place of fear we do this from a place of empowerment so a few tools that we're going to start this meditation off with are going to support us with that the first thing is going to be the 12th dimensional shield and so this is actually a tool that was adopted through the energetic sense synthesis website so if you're interested in learning more about different tools related to shielding or ego training i I highly recommend that website uh, as supporting you on your spiritual journey but essentially what we want to do is we're going to envision that there is a six pointed silver opalescent star right in the middle of our brains And so what we want to do is we want to envision that this star begins to spin and spins down a silver thread going down our brains, into our necks, down our spinal cord, out through our root chakra, down into our earth star chakra and further down until it reaches the center core of the earth. And envision that the center core of the earth is a crystal. It's a crystal core of the earth and your your six-pointed star anchors into the crystal core of the earth, generating power, generating love, generating peace, prosperity, abundance into that crystal core, anchoring yourself into Gaia. And then you're going to envision that this silver cord stays connected into the crystal core of the earth. So you are now supported and rooted into the protection of the earth during this meditation then you're now going to envision that this six-pointed star begins to go back up back through your earth star chakra back back through your root chakra up 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 past your sacral your solar plexus your heart chakra further up into your throat chakra 
further up going now um, through your third eye chakra your crown chakra passing up into your solar star chakra and then you're going to envision that there is a um, that there is a platinum surface right around where your earth star chakra would be so let's say that that's 12 feet beneath your feet okay so imagine that there's this really large platinum plate it could be like 15 feet in diameter or something like that so you're standing on this you know you're, it's it's kind of securing your shield and then you can envision that you have a matching 15 foot platinum plate 18 inches above your head and then the shield is um, encompassing you know 15 inches in diameter on each side or, or 15 feet in diameter on each side um, it's like an opalescent platinum shield around you okay so it's this really comfortable platinum see-through tube that you're in now and you can envision that inside this tube you are immersed in platinum diamond light protecting you protecting your auric field and then what you want to do is on this shield right where you can see it with your eyes envision that you see the words god sovereign free okay and so any entity that might approach this shield would see this insignia god sovereign free and this is you kind of setting your boundary with any other interferences okay and so then what you want to do is you just kind of want to um move that sign around on all areas so move it to the left side move it to the right side move it to the back uh, and just kind of move it around until it's at 360 degrees and what you're basically doing is you're informing your whole space that you are god sovereign and free okay so any there are certain laws in the universe that we abide by and we want to you know it beings do if, if you affirm yourself as being god sovereign and free then beings must um, adhere to that now if you don't affirm yourself as being god sovereign and free that's when issues come up so that's why we do these layers of protection to support us in our spiritual journey okay and this is a form of energetic hygiene so that's the first thing that we do the second thing we do is we always want to ensure that we understand that we're not doing this healing process by ourselves that we are highly protected by our own spiritual teams spiritual teams that also affirm that we are god sovereign and free and they are here to support us and to cheerlead with us and a lot of times to support us with collapsing timelines that are not within our highest interest at this time and so we want to bring these spiritual members of our team on board now right they're always with us but we really want to be unified with them during this process and that offers us an additional layer of protection and sovereignty okay and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to invoke what is called the unity vow and this is just something that unifies us with spirit with our spiritual team and so we're working as a group to do this healing journey you're not having to do this all by yourself defenders of truth sovereignty and liberation the guardian family serving the one from across the multiverses i call upon my guardian families to join me now my unification is demonstrated in the waves of omni love i sound my heart tone to you now my energy template updated renewed and forever perpetuated in the eternally sustained light my alchemical container is consecrated and dedicated to the purposes of one and i endeavor to be the knower of god to then be the way shower of god please sustain me in the eternal power of my consecration i have asked for gatekeeping in order to hold my mission my mutual highest purposes in service to the one light our source the living light code my intention is unification the cosmic christ principle as an energetic reality here and now i request the handshake to fortify my spiritual links through the universal cosmic triad and into the core of one the zero point god matrix that which is the source of my genesis with deep reverence for all of life dear god breathe your life codes into my created form 
I set my intention now to remember that which I am fully, completely, and totally. I state my mutual purpose as one. Please resurrect all inorganic patterns to organic living light now. And to that I say, thank God I am the living eternal light. And so it is, lovingly decreed. In the name of the one self, God self, beloveds, the guardian host connected to our Aurora platform networks, those serving the sacred law of one, I am unity. And so then what you want to do is you want to envision that there is a silver string that is being pushed out of your pineal gland, right, right around where your third eye is, and that it's, it's being anchored around the earth, right? So this is something we do in unity with the earth. And then you also want to shoot that silver screen out in another um, string out in another direction. And you want to envision that the string goes into this beautiful aquamarine scenery, right? It's this beautiful aqua, aquamarine galaxy. And right in the middle of the aquamarine galaxy is this brilliant silver star. And the string anchors into that brilliant silver star. And you are now protected by this aquamarine galaxy which is also known as the mother arc and this is what is known as the aurora platform um, this is the plasma frequency that's supporting us with our ascension process we have beings and other realms that are supporting us with liberating us liberating our consciousnesses and supporting with uh, transmuting different distortions that have happened in our dna right and so these beings affirm that we are god sovereign and free and yet they are also seeking to support humanity with coming back into unity and so they are offering their support with these sorts of healings at this time so we want to thank them and acknowledge and appreciate them as being there we ask the guardians councils of our higher selves ascension evolution support teams Christo Starseed Identity Matrix aligned to the law of one mission to work together for the highest capacity of exchange of God's infinite light, love, and power in divine right order and harmony. Please open the 12th dimensional vortex in counterclockwise motion into full expansion in the celestial Christ force of platform, platinum white light. Grid this space entirely in the 12th dimensional Christ light set the spin accordingly calibrate anchor lock and seal in this hologram north south east west earth sky we direct the four corners to be sealed in the light of unity and oneness we are impenetrable and invincible we ask the aurora forces to anchor this space sacred in service to the law of one with which we serve i claim my divine inheritance and self-sovereign god power now i choose the patterns of perfection now for all human beings i am the diamond sun now now see that 12d portal spinning outward with yourself in it in concentric circles opening and expanding and now we open the session in service to the law of one and we invite the christos races to connect and anchor in and we state our intention today as to be liberated from the false webbing of the false fifth dimensional matrix we call to be liberated now from any a, any sort of addiction matrices or false webs false white light anything that keeps us further entrapped in systems of domination and control we seek to connect now with the cosmos we seek to connect now with the crystalline grid we seek to, to connect now with sophia consciousness we seek to connect now with abundance prosperity knowing that at the end of the day we are sovereign we are god we are free and if we are experiencing timelines or if we are experiencing visions which do not affirm that then that means that in some way our consciousness is trapped and so we seek liberation from any consciousness traps today and so before we begin this meditation let's talk a little bit about what we are liberating ourselves from 
So one thing that has kept this false matrix going for thousands upon thousands of years has have been, it's been something called the false navel. And this is actually right under our, our actual belly buttons. It's right around where our horror lines are. And there has been a plug, there's been this cord that has attached us to a cycle of death and reincarnation. We see this as normal now, but it wasn't normal always. Life used to be eternal for the human species, but somewhere along the way, in the fall of consciousness, we began to die much earlier. And we also began to do this constant cycle of death and reincarnation, death and reincarnation. And this is what has been referred to as like an energy harvesting factory. A, a, an opportunity for beings who seek to manipulate and control the human population to recycle us and to recycle our energy and to harvest our energy. And this has caused a great deal of trauma. And unfortunately, this energy harvesting cycle has thrived off of trauma. And so the more we heal our trauma, the more we release shadow aspects of ourselves, the more we can be liberated from the false web of the false matrix. But first we must identify these structures so that we can liberate ourselves from this these structures and so at this time if we're seeking to ascend and ascension really looks like being able to trans to go and traverse the 12 dimensions of consciousness ascension is not about elevating and staying in one particular place it's it's actually about freedom and liberation this idea that we are able to move about the universe unencumbered by any sort of rules or regulations if we are god sovereign and free then we have the right to travel we have the right to interdimensional travel and this is something that has been siphoned and closed off to humanity for several thousands of years and so we reclaim this back and that's what ascension means being able to tra traverse the the 12 dimensions this is what our birthright is and this is what we reclaim now so in order to be able to do this though we are going to have to reset and expand our navel and solar plexus so i mentioned earlier that right now the false matrix is invested in energy harvesting and a lot of the ways in which they harvest our energy is through our solar plexus chakra our solar plexus is referred to as being our inner sun this is where our soul energy is is kept okay and so in order to get out of these this false matrix we are going to have to reclaim our navel chakra and reclaim our solar plexus chakra so that we're able to embody our organic frequency instead of being constricted a lot of times it can feel like when we are in this false matrix paradigm we feel very constricted we feel very boxed in we have these certain realities that it's it's hard to to manifest our way out of and that's because there is literally webbing on the etheric plane that many times is attached to us and it attaches to previous traumas it attaches to traumas in our ancestral line lineage and, and we must excavate that and and really uproot these traumas and uproot this webbing in our etheric fields in order to experience greater liberation so a little bit more about the false ascension matrix it's an inorganic technology established in the astral realm in the fourth dimension interestingly enough about the astral realm and the fourth dimension the fourth dimension is connected to our fourth chakra which is also known as our heart chakra and that is how a lot of this false ascension webbing is able to stay in place is through emotional manipulation pulling upon our heartstrings getting us to really get on cycles of trauma scarcity fear doubt emotional manipulation okay and so this is what is currently keeping us entrapped in this false ascension 5d matrix and um, the way that it works is it's actually operated through uh, this this it's a, a operated through a very intricate webbing which is connected through many etheric implants or 
holographic inserts. So scientists have proven and shown that we live in a holographic universe. And so um, that means a lot of things that we see in our realities are, are holographic. They're not necessarily real and we can create our realities. But when these holographic inserts are are put into our consciousness, then a lot of times we are going to see through whatever the creator of that insert wants us to see. And what ends up happening is a lot of times software is programmed into our consciousness that can interrupt the vertical connection that we have to the higher spiritual realms and our access into the spiritual bodies. And it can block us from accessing authentic Christ consciousness, expansive consciousness of universal love. And this is what keeps us manipulated a lot of time through mind control programs of victim victimizer and fear, doubt, worry, and scarcity. And then unfortunately, there's another layer to this, which is a around addiction. So a lot of times the society that we live in with within the false matrix causes us to want to be addicted to different things. And a lot of times this stems from our second chakra, our sacral chakra, which is also attached to our emotional plane. And um, over time, if these issues around addiction are not addressed, they can embed into our light body. And this false web work, it can create this like weird overlay over our nervous system. And it's just like a very intricate web of puppets, you know, puppet master strings, right? And so um, this is actually done as a way to mimic the true web of the universe. And that is the web of the, the crystalline grid. So we are connected to an organic web, a crystalline web. And that's what we're going to work on connecting with today. And that's the web of the universe. The astral webbing is just a cheap imitation and it's just a consciousness trap. And once we're able to identify it, it's a much easier to break through it. And so that's what we're going to do today. And so at this time, we focus our intention on liberation. So take this time to really set your intention to what is it that you're seeking to be liberated from, from this session. So there might be a way in which this astral webbing is particularly impacting you in your life right now. Maybe it's through your finances. Maybe it's through family dynamics. Maybe it's through your mindset. So really think about and set the intention and be so crystal clear on the intention of what you're seeking to shift in this ses session. Your directed intention is extremely important on the effectiveness of this meditation. So take this time to really set your intention for this session. And then once you have set your intention, the next thing that we do is we want to take some time to mindfully breathe. And so we're actually going to breathe for the count of five. Five holds the vibration of change. We are ushering in change right here, right now, knowing that we are God sovereign and free, knowing that once we set our intention and we infuse that intention with our breath and our focus, that we are able to move mountains. And there is no false webbing and no astral webbing which can contain us from our God given destiny on this planet at this time. And so we break through all binds that would keep us away from our liberation right here and right now. And we do that by breathing in for the count of five. Holding for the count of five. And then breathing out of our nose for the count of five. And we're going to do that for a total of five times. Breathing in for five. Holding for five. Breathing out of our nose for five. Four more times. Breathe in for five. Hold for five. Out of your nose for five. Breathing in for five. Holding for five. Breathing out of your nose for five. Breathing in for five. Holding for five. 
and breathing out of your nose for five. Last time, breathe in for five. Hold for five. And breathe out of your nose for five. We set our intention on liberation. We remember that we are anchored into the earth's core right now. The earth is very much invested in our liberation. Gaia is very much invested in our liberation because our liberation is tethered with hers. As our minds get free, as our consciousness gets free, she becomes free. And so knowing that we are supported not only by Gaia, but we are also supported by every single member of our spiritual team. We are also supported by our higher selves who seek to be more in connection with us. This false webbing of the astral plane sometimes gets in the way of us receiving divine messages because sometimes the frequency is blocked out by fear, doubt, scarcity, worry, no more. We end that right here, right now. And so we start first of all with our root chakra. So I want you to envision a red ball of light in your root chakra, right at your tailbone. And we're actually gonna come in through our tailbone. We're gonna envision that we are coming into our organs and we're just taking a look and we're seeing the inner workings of our body right now. We're seeing the blood pump through our, our veins we're seeing our heart, we're seeing our lungs, we're seeing our bone structures. And we might just end up seeing some webbing that just seems off. Definitely doesn't look like it's from the crystalline grid. You'll know because the webbing of the astral, the astral webbing will be very cobwebby, like an old spider web, right? The old spider webs that you wanna clean out of your house that are really old and just, they don't attract high vibrations. And you might see different webbing in your in your body at this time. And take note where those, that webbing is. It might be different for different folks. So you might see a lot of webbing in your heart space. Or maybe you see it in your lungs or your kidneys. But we're just going to do a cleansing of each space. So we're going to first start off around our sacral chakra. Right in our, our where our sexual organs are. A lot of times the sacral chakra is where addictions can form. This is where our emotional body is. So this is where a lot of our emotions get trapped. So any trapped emotions, unhealed traumas, maybe we have tried to mask these traumas through addictive behaviors, whether it's through substances or just other behaviors. A lot of times it's gonna, the webbing was gonna start in the sacral chakra. So we're gonna take a look at what's happening in our emotional body and our sacral chakras now. And what we're going to do is we're going to envision crystalline light, crystalline light blasting through the sacral chakra, completely blasting through it. And as this crystalline light blasts through the sacral chakra, we notice that all of the cobwebs of the astral webbing just disintegrates. It cannot take the vibration of the true crystalline plasma energy. There, It's no match for it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our galactic vacuum. Our galactic vacuum comes in to the sacral chakra area and it, it's, it's cleaning up all of the, de the debris. And the galactic vacuum is, is putting out all the debris into the Gaia's grid and it's bringing it back to zero point energy and Gaia or Sophia consciousness does does with it what it what, what what she will you know she'll do with it what what she knows what to do with it but it's at zero point it's no longer obstructing our sacral chakra and so you might feel some emotional release here you might feel some shaking and just breathe into it we're going to do another round of five 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 breath breathing in for the count of five holding for the count of five and breathing out of our nose for the count of five embodying the vibration of change embodying the vibration of liberation and we go up we go up to that navel area our horror line so right under our navel and you might notice that there is a some kind of a cording there right at your navel and usually this cording is going to go all the way up your spine 
and it's gonna it's gonna click in to right uh, where your Alta Major chakra is, which is right where your neck and your head connects. And that that same cordon is gonna go all the way up into your pineal gland, right in the middle of your brain. And this is a this is the epicenter of where the false webbing can occur. And it's also the epicenter of where a lot of the mind control can occur, the holographic inserts can occur, the mind slides, the manipulation of reality, the manipulation of our holographic universe. And so we take note and we become compassionate observers, eradicating fear, eradicating anxiety, eradicating any sort of of trauma response coming back to zero point remembering and reclaiming that we are God sovereign and free any obstructions to us being God sovereign and free can be easily changed because ultimately we create our reality we won't have a reality imposed on us not anymore and so what we do with this is we take the crystalline light and we follow it up with that cord. So it starts at that navel. We, the crystalline light is blasting through the navel, blasting through the spinal col column, blasting through the alta major chakra, blasting through your pineal gland. And you might see structures, you might see different uh, discarnate spirits, different things that start to disintegrate. Because once again, they're no match for true crystalline energy, true plasma light, absolutely no match. It disintegrates. Once again, we bring in our galactic vacuum and we clean up the debris with the galactic vacuum. As soon as that debris is cleaned up with the vacuum, it immediately goes to zero point, back to source creation, out of our energetic fields. And so then we're going to take a look at our nervous system, all the different veins in our central nervous system, all the wiring of our central nervous center. It's like it's it's our it's our electrical wiring of our bodies. And we might notice that this webbing got through there too. But once again, we do not own fear, doubt, worry, or anxiety. We become compassionate observers. We return to zero point energy. We call on our guides. We call in the crystalline light, the plasma light from the mother arc, from the aquamarine source that we are tapped into. And we blast it through our central nervous system. And once again, the webbing is no match. It is absolutely no match for the true source of the crystalline grid. It disintegrates. And then once again, our galactic vacuum cleaner comes and sucks it all up, sucks all the debris up. It's a really great vacuum cleaner, state of the art. And it's like magnetizes every single tiny piece of debris. Goes into that galactic vacuum cleaner, goes to zero point, poof, back into source creation. And we are cleaning our house. We're cleaning our spiritual house. We're cleaning our etheric house of any sort of bottom feeder or parasite that was trying to leech off of our source energy. And we nip it in the bud right now. Once again, affirming that we are God, sovereign, and free. And we're going to say that I am God, sovereign, and free. And at this point, we focus back on the intention that we had at the beginning of the session. What are we seeking liberation from? Connect back with that intention now. Knowing that you don't have to strive for it, it is yours now. You program your reality. Controllers do not program your reality. That is for you to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to envision ourselves floating up, up, up from wherever you're at, whether you're seated, whether you're in bed, 
You're going up, up, up into the universe, into the cosmos, into the Milky Way galaxy. And you imagine that you're going into this great galactic center where the universe converges and the, there's just so many stars around. And we're seeing Sophia consciousness or the consciousness of Neith, the creator of all things. We're going back to that source. We're tapping in back to source, the true mother. The false matrix was never our mother. It was never our source. We return back to the truth of source, the truth of the crystalline grid now. And we envision ourselves connected to some kind of beautiful crystalline grid. This looks a lot different than the astral webbing we just exterminated. Because this gridding, this web work is so intricate. It's so artistic. It's also made out of this beautiful opalescent thread. And when you look at it, you know that this is a divine blueprint. And you see your place in the web of this blueprint, but it also doesn't just stop with you. It continues going on. Your star family is connected into this web work. Your ancestors are connected into this web work. Any ancestors that may have been in a fallen state, that may have gotten trapped in the astral web, you reclaim them now and they're back on the crystalline grid. And you re reclaim your energy, any energy that was harvested from you from this astral webbing, you're recharging yourself now on this crystalline grid, reclaiming your dreams, reclaiming the starseed mission that you came in here with, whatever mission you came in here with to transform and shift your life, your bloodline, the consciousness of this planet at this time, you're remembering, ideas are flowing, your consciousness is expanding while you are attached to this crystalline grid. It almost seems comical that you were caught up in that astral web thing when there's this beautiful work of art that you can tap into at any time. But you remember today, you'll never forget it again. You remember the feeling of being held, nurtured by the Divine Mother in this moment. And whenever you get caught up in any feel feelings of fear, doubt, worry, anxiety, you're going to reclaim yourself on this crystalline grid. You'll go back to it. And so now we harmonize and hold this space in the name of oneself, God's self. As witness of one, we seal this into the light.